A security guard at a gym in Mesquite ended up dead when police say he was attacked while doing his job. Police are not releasing many details about the assault Saturday at the Fitness Connection or what may have led up to it. And that has the family of the victim, 43-year-old Patrick Prejean, concerned. Fox News' Stephen Dial has more on the investigation and why no one's been charged yet. Stephen. Steve Mesquite investigators say they are waiting for the findings from the medical examiner in reference to this death. Meanwhile, like you mentioned, the family of Patrick Prejean says that they're upset and being left out of the dark, but they're going to continue to fight for justice for their loved one. The family, we're not good. We're not good with this. Mesquite police say a physical altercation happened Saturday inside Fitness Connection on Town East Boulevard. Investigators say the altercation was between a security guard and others in the gym area. What happened during the fight is unclear, but the security guard, 43-year-old Patrick Prejean, was taken to the hospital and pronounced dead. No, we want answers. I mean, because of the way it happened and how sudden it happened. Like I say, he's just a gentle giant. A purported video of the incident was posted online showing Prejean's final moments. Fox 4 has seen the video, but we are choosing not to show it. Michelle Hall is Prejean's cousin. She says he had been working security at the gym since the last summer. Hall says many family members found out about his death from the video posted on YouTube. We're all numb because we just can't believe that, you know, he's gone in the way it happened. He has, what, three boys, you know, that's left without a father. In a statement, Fitness Connection told us, quote, we strongly condemn all acts of violence in our communities, but especially within the walls of our fitness facilities. We send our deepest condolences to the family of the victim of this needless attack. Fitness Connection says they are cooperating with law enforcement. Investigators tell us they have identified some people in the video, but at this time no charges have been filed, mainly because the cause of death has not been determined. The medical examiner will determine if pre-gene was the victim of homicidal violence. As the investigation continues, this family says they won't stop until they get justice for their loved one. I will miss his smile. Like I posted on social media, my favorite picture with Pat was when he had his cowboy boots on. And if I tell you he came over to my mom's house, he was clean. He didn't deserve to, you know, leave us like that. A lot will be determined based on the medical examiner's findings. Now, a timeline has not been given on when a preliminary or full autopsy report will be completed for investigators.